Hello. Great to be here, GMAC. Uh, David Ekman and the uh, guest has set a perfect scene for my session today. We don't need to explain why AI is important, but I can quote you one number. In 2017, the investment on AI just on marketing and sales alone was 22 billion US dollar. That is 26 times more than when it was in 2015. The growth is phenomenal. As David, Tom, they just discussed, AI is one of the most trendy technologies right now, the hottest one, but not the only one. You also have blockchain, we have cloud, but AI is different. They said it's AI is like electricity. Blockchain, cloud, you know technologically how to deploy it. But it takes a long time, many years, to convince the business value of cloud and blockchain. AI is very, very different. In fact, when we ask all the executive, all the Fortune 500 CEOs, 91% of them recognize the value of AI, but less than 10% know how to leverage it. AI is absolutely here already. It's not for tomorrow. And it is supercharging all the other technologies. FinTech has been around. Health tech has been around. Smart city has been around for quite some time. But what AI has done is made all the other technologies a lot better. It's almost like other technologies on steroids. Usual, what make AI successful? Core ingredients, data, algorithm, talent, policy. Policy was discussed earlier. As it was discussed that government policy, how do they create an environment for startup to focus on AI and with investment to subsidize it, that is critical. But none of the factor is more important than the one in the middle which is scenario, use case. You can develop all the technology you want, but if you cannot put it in use, you never know the real value, and you cannot fine-tune it. Why Ping An? Everybody know Ping An as the biggest insurance company in China or globally. But Peng An, in the last 10 years, has been focusing on how to leverage technology to drive value. Not only about automation, digitization. The three, four, five years, tremendously on artificial intelligence, blockchain, and cloud, and securities. How much we have invested? We have invested a billion US dollar. We have 22,000 technologists in Peng An Group. Last year alone, we have applied for over 3,000, 3,030 patents. And today, actually, we have well over 4,700 patents in application. And as a result, you can see the number of online users that Peng An has today is 436 million online user and we are bringing on 1 million online user to ping on every day ai is impacting all services not only for banks not only for health I saw this as a lady is sitting on the street, on a sidewalk on the street, is counting 
number of cars is going through for the government, for transportation department, using the clicker. Before, there's no way you can use a machine to do it for the past 10, 20, 30 years. To recognize if it's a taxi, is it a bus, private car, minivan, what has been in the past, you can only have a sensor to know how many cars going through. But today, any university student who study AI can build a model to recognize that. And it will replace what this lady has been doing in the past many years. This lady will not need to wear the face mask anymore. AI, there are three different kinds of AI in Peng An. One is cognitive AI, one is prescriptive AI, one is the most important one, strong AI. And today, I want to share with you what are the use case. How have we been leveraging AI? The previous session, the panel speaker has set a great scene why we should have AI. But how do you do it? We have developed our own facial recognition engine. But today, many companies are doing it. Our facial recognition engine last June was the world highest accuracy, but we are not the only one anymore. Voice recognition. We have been able to leverage our customer base to train our voice authentication so that customer can dial into a call center without asking them all the questions. What's your birthday? Where is your last credit card transaction? We already know who this customer is. Is it the true customer? We even have micro expression engine. Through video conference, over the phone, we can tell the user emotional status based on the micro expression on the face. Predictive AI is the second category. We have been leveraging the medical record, which was discussed earlier also. Two, train a model. Four, in this particular case, for Sunjin and Chongqing government, to predict what is the next influenza at least a week earlier. So now we have been able to do weather forecasts. Is it going to rain tomorrow? Is it going to rain three days from now? Now we can do exactly like weather forecasts. Is there going to be a flu season? Hand, foot and mouth disease? Or even some other slow moving like diabetic and so forth? What is a strong AI? Strong AI is combining all different AI technologies and we bundle in one to create an end-to-end solution. This particular example is about we have a solution for wealth products. If you need to buy a mutual fund, if you need to buy a life insurance, there's regulatory requirement that needs to be recorded. But we take it a step way further. It's not only recording. We bundle all the AI technologies we have built so far. We use facial recognition to know if this is the right relations manager, if this is the right customer. We use authentication to capture that, to know that in the future, when the customer talks to us again, we know it's them again, even over the phone. We use micro-expression to know if the customer is really happy or nervous with the product that we have introduced. And we have natural language processing to prompt a script to tell what the relationship manager should be saying. So make sure we're saying the right thing for the interest of the customer. So this is a very efficient process. Instead of a 20 minutes process, it's only a 5 minutes process, just like taking a selfie. So, we have cognitive, prescriptive, and strong AI. But we also look at every single 
industry focus area, and how do we apply across? With intelligent monitoring, that is able to identify suspicious transaction based on behavior, not just by filtering rules. We have intelligent compliance review to make sure what we are doing, what a financial institute is doing, is complying with the regulations. We have vehicle damage, effective credit score. I'll pick the two as an example, and also intelligence customer service. Auto insurance is one of our core business in Penghan. So, when you have a car accident, unfortunately, you can call our call center. Automatically, our engine will know if you're nervous, if you need to calm you down based on your voice, and suggest a path what you need to do. Upload your the damaged car photos through one of our download apps. Based on the machine learning engine we have built, so we can look at the car photo immediately determine the seriousness, how bad your car is damaged, and link up to the car component parts inventory. We can estimate how much is the damage of your car in order to fix it. So we will give you an estimate. If you agree, you click it one click. Claim is going to be remitted to your bank account instead of taking days. It will take a few minutes. It's four thousand times more efficient than before. And we can machine learning engine can understand if the car is the right car and the fifteen area of the car with four level of damages. All done automatically. Similarly, healthcare. We have many areas we can leverage AI. Disease forecasting is something I managed or、uh, mentioned already. Virtual care is like what our good doctor can do. Telemedicine, we can give you medical advice through one of our app and through our AI chatbot. What a strong AI! We bundle a few AIs together: intelligent insurance, health trend analysis, and intelligent medical imaging. We have been able to leverage all the X-ray records to let the machine to learn to identify lung nodules, which is one of the most threatening disease globally and in China. So, once we identify the disease. Lung nodule. We will be linked up with your behavior, health trend analysis to give you advice what you need to do, or what you need to do to prevent this from happening to begin with. And of course, if you follow the suggested behavior, we will give you incentive through a insurance product. So this is what strong AI is about. Not only identify. Even though a month ago we have been able to do the world number one accuracy on identifying lung nodules through our machines alone, but we don't stop there. We create a whole bundle experience end to end through different AI components. As a result, 15 times more efficient. Just in case, because the lung nodule could be so small, the accuracy. Is significantly increased. A whole new area, smart city. Smart city is not just about automation or managing the traffic. The, in, in terms of one-click government service to education, tailor-made educations based on the students' needs. So every student has a different curriculum, which we are deploying for K-12. And even custom crossing border. How do you catch someone that has products you're not supposed to bring in? 
we have been able to use AI profiling to catch these culprits. Accuracy was only 7% before using human expert. Now using a machine, the first phase alone is already 27%, four times more accurate. AI is critical. Startup, we need to create an environment to encourage startups. Large corporate, in the last panel, uh, David Ekman, they already mentioned, and Tom specifically, like a U.S. medical system. You need to have clean data. Every corporate, if you want to leverage AI, you need to fix the data, clean up the data first, centralize them. Government creates a whole policy environment. The good news is, in China, we have all these ingredients. And this is one of the key reasons why everything in China is progressing so fast. And it will only go faster and faster. Ping An has done a lot. We built a lot of services ourselves, AI services. And we have deployed across many different businesses, and hence FinTech, Health Tech, Smart City Tech. What we figure out, we don't want to stop here. We want to share. And this is why we put it on a cloud service. Everyone can leverage our AI through API services. So what we want to do is leverage AI and we can supercharge our technology solutions to create a much better future for China and for the whole world. Thank you, everyone.